I want to look at a Copper Bronze Age collection coming up. All right, guys, I got the call to go check out a collection. We're gonna get into it really quick, but first, please, if you could hit that subscription button along with that notification bell. Don't forget, if you enjoy the video, to hit the thumbs up. And this is gonna be one of those videos you're going to wanna leave a comment on. I'll explain all that later. But first, let's get in the car. All right, guys, so I got the call. Um, nice guy. He says he has about a 1,000 books, late 70s to mid 80s in boxes. I don't like that, but um, he didn't say what titles he had. He didn't say basically anything. All I know is there's late 70s to early to mid 80s, somewhere in there. So you're looking at about a, what, five to eight year window maybe? I don't know, but I'll try to record as much as I can and I'll try not to keep it shaky. It's, it's not, you know, it's kind of hard doing it with one hand. Um, and I, I, I don't know if people are going to want me to start setting up tripods in the middle of their house, but uh, we'll see how this one goes. We'll, um, no, I'll, I'll let you guys see as much as I, much as I can. Try not to get sick if, it's, if the camera shakes. All right, guys, so unfortunately, we're going to have to do a voiceover for this entire thing. The reason is because he asked, I asked, had to ask him, hey, do you mind if I record? Okay, no problem, you can record, he says, but I don't want to be in the video. No problem at all. Then he decides to talk the whole time, and uh, now I'm stuck to, oh, there's a nice book. Oh, not really, that's the movie showcase. Don't get fooled, don't get fooled. So... I decided, okay, I could just do a voiceover for this whole thing, and that's what's happening right now. There you go. That's a little, little minor key there. Um, a thousand books we're going to be flipping through. Well, I'm not going to go through a thousand books with you guys. We'll be here all day. This is just box one. He had a bunch of boxes here. I'm actually kneeling in his, like, walkway as soon as you walk into his house. It's, um, oh, there you go. Minor keys. Uh so him and his wife are super, super nice people, but they kept talking and I just, we have to do the voiceover. So I think I go through about two or three boxes here and uh, we're definitely going to be going over the keys a little later and I, you definitely want, nice little run there. You do want to stick around to the end of the video because uh, I'm going to need your help with something. You'll, uh, you'll see a little later, but this is only box one. He had a bunch of boxes uh, some asm he didn't have much amazing spider-man which is a bummer because i do like that little window of uh, mid to late 70s to mid 80s there's some nice books in there but unfortunately very very little amazing spider-man but there is dennis the menace so there you go a lot of star wars in there some new mutants he had a lot of full complete runs just in multiple boxes so this, uh, unfortunately, this little, uh, oh, there you go. That is a nice one. This thing is unfortunately going to take a turn, a turn for the worst. And you'll see as soon as I'm done with this box, uh, I'm going to fill you in on what exactly happened. Sorry for the shaky camera. Some Godzilla. There's some minor Godzilla keys, defenders. Not too much DC in here. Very, very little DC. There was some Teen Titans. But that that was almost it. There wasn't a whole lot of DC. Mostly Marvel, which is fine. It's good stuff. Need a lot of Invaders, a lot of Nova. A lot of Howard the Duck. There's a nice book. First Jane Foster as Thor. Yeah, it's a what if, but... The market dictates, right? The market dictates everything, and the market is saying that that's the key to own. A lot of Star Wars. He definitely had a lot of Star Wars. See? There's some. Ah, he had a lot of spectacular Spider-Man, not amazing Spider-Man. That's right. There's some DC supervillains. Some John. Yep. Yeah, yeah, spectacular Spider-Man. He had some obscure titles, too. A lot of what if, which is cool. I like that. Some more Star Wars. Some Nova. Oh, he had some champions. There you go. Nice book. Some Black Panther stuff. Godzilla. He did have, I believe, the 
full run of Godzilla and Howard the Duck. Nice. Another key. Look at that. He he had a lot of defenders, and I'm, there's definitely some keys there. Oh, Miss Marvel. He had a full Miss Marvel run, too. But uh, you'll see by the end. Oh, that was a good one. Just kind of skipped over that doorway book. Um, you'll see by the end of this, it's uh, kind of a sad story here. He had a lot of warlord. Oh, there you go. Another nice book in there. Nice book in this this box. Nice books. He did have a full Firestorm, both volumes. He did have a lot of Devil Dinosaur. He unfortunately didn't have a whole lot of Machine Man. A lot of John Carter. Not a lot of DC Comics Presents. Ooh, sorry about that. I don't know. Maybe somebody walked by. A lot of Spectacular Spider-Man. He did have some Human Fly in there. Call, that's right. He did have a full run of Spider Woman. Oh, I don't know about a full run. He had a lot of Spider Woman. More Godzilla. I think there's Star Wars under there. More Spider Woman. Some Claw. More Howard the Duck. Not a lot of new gods. Ton of Shang-Chi. Ton of Shang-Chi in there. A lot. There's some more Star Wars. Oh, there's a good Machine Band book right there. Oh. oh, that's right. He gave me a knee pad. He saw me struggling with life. Some call more Miss Marvel. Nice book. He did have a lot of Tarzan, but you know it's Tarzan. I know a lot of you guys want me to record more of this, but there's only so much of this I could really record before it gets a, a kind of monotonous. It'd be one thing if everything was bagged, boarded, in boxes, and I could flip through nicey-nice, but when it's like this, it's like, oh man, it's it's hard to hold the camera still. Uh, it's hard. I'm flipping the box back and forth and back and forth. Books are stacked on each other like this. You know, anything coming out of this collection is going to need a press, obviously. Some Devil Dinosaur stuff in there. More Howard the Duck. Do I spin the box around? No. Human Fly under there. Call. More Firestorm. As DC wasn't... Hey, there's a nice one. Devil Dinosaur number one. A nice little spec book. Uh, Devil Dinosaur and Moon Girl is the spec you really want, but that book was the first appearance of Devil Dinosaur. Moon Girl is only a few years old. Not too, maybe five years old. Oh, Spider-Man 1. Not bad. Oh, there you go. Another nice book. Mystique. Cull. New Gods. Claw. Super Action. There's some more Star Wars. Marvel Premiere. And some more Nova. I'm pretty sure he had a full Nova run. We're kind of getting towards the bottom here. It's more Star Wars. He had a lot of Star Wars, but he didn't have the complete run. But Star Wars went on for quite a bit. And just so you guys know, the final issue of Star Wars is a nice book to own. Devil Dinosaur, some Invaders. This will be the last box we look at, just because there's a lot. And there's only so much of this we can do before it gets pretty boring. Red Sands, some more Star Wars, some more Howard the Duck. And that's it for that one. All right, guys, so I'm out. I've got nothing to show for it. I showed you a bunch. Sorry for the shaky camera, but um, I thought I made a very fair offer. I was at 300, and then I, and then he said I, I was hoping to get more. I said, all right, I can, I'll do 350. I'd like to stay away from 400. And then he said he's got a guy coming Wednesday. So it didn't really matter what I offered because he's got a guy coming Wednesday. So we'll see what happens. Uh, today is Sunday. So uh, we'll see what happens in a few days. He's supposed to call Wednesday to let me know what's going on. So I'll keep you posted. All right. So what ended up happening is exactly what I said. This guy had uh, somebody else coming on a Wednesday about a few days after I was there, pretty frustrated. And I even said to him, are you going to tell him my offer and then let him basically counter? 
He said, no, 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 I'm not going to. All right. He said, I'll call you on Wednesday to let you know what's going on. All right. No faith, no hope, no anything. I did think he was going to call, which he did. My man, Dave. Dave calls me and totally redeems himself. Not only is he not happy with the other guy's offer, but this is what he says to me. He says, Gary, if you want those thousand books, they're yours. And I have another 2,000 books for you to look at. What? What? We're going back right now. All right, so we're back at it. Little voiceover. We're not going to go through. Ooh, there's a nice one. We're not going to go through as many books as the last go around because he literally had twice as many. He went from 1,000. He showed me about 1,000 books, and then he jumped up to about 2,000 thousand or so so like there's a lot of books here we aren't going to go through all of them but i did want to show you some of these because i know a lot of you guys like this part of these videos and and i do too because it's it's interesting it's fun to see some stuff um just the way people keep their collections the way to see what people did collect and to find the keys just randomly in batches of books like this so I believe we're only going to go through two boxes, and this one here is a quick one. I think the next one is too. Funny thing is, when I got here the second time, he wasn't even here. Uh, his daughter, you know, helped me out, and she was a little hesitant for me to record. And I told her I'm not going to be recording the room or anything. I just want to record the books, and she was like, okay. And uh, and she didn't want to be in the video either. Again, that's hey, there's a nice one, uh, and that's why again we're doing the voice over here. So I do apologize if you don't like it, and I am gonna. Um, say again you want to probably stick around this is going to be a fun video come the end of it uh, and you'll see why when we get there i'm going to need your guys help hey, a couple nice books but this will uh it'll be a good one this should should be fun you're going to see a lot of keys come out of this you just gotta just be patient or skip some long shot stuff gi joe he didn't have gi joe 21 he had a lot of gi joe but he didn't have 21 he actually didn't did he have number one? I don't even remember if he had number one. But he didn't have 21, which is the silent issue. More Masters of Kung Fu. So we're almost done with this more Ms. Marvel, my goodness, and Nova. We're almost done with this box. I'm going to go through one more, but I think I stop it like halfway through because uh, I figured enough's enough. So, oh, another nice one right there. So uh, next box coming up. All right, here is the next box. We got a big giant oversized whatnot in here. I don't remember. Was it a Shang-Chi? Let's see. Help. Oh, Savage Fist of Kung Fu. All right. Yeah, just throw that aside. That's no big deal. Hey, look who's waiting for us on top there. Mr. Deathstroke. That's nice. I like that. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure this one stopped super early, too, because I can't keep doing this. Look, one-handed, flipping. I would have been there all day. There was a lot of these kind of boxes all over the place more spectacular man all that spectacular spider-man i wish it was amazing spider-man but what are you gonna do some man thing in there more star wars guys he had a lot of star wars a lot of star wars secret wars 2 he didn't have secret wars 1 more spectacular a lot of warlord call Stuff like that. Micronauts. I don't believe he had Micronauts number one. He didn't have She-Hulk number one. And that was disappointing. That was a nice book. That Teen Titans book. I believe that was the first Trigon. He didn't have She-Hulk number one, which was a bummer. Sorry, spoiler alert. We are going to go through keys at the end. Um... I guess you could say I did acquire the collection. We'll talk numbers in a little bit. Star Trek. More Micronauts. Kazar. A lot of What Ifs. A lot of Dazzler. A lot of She-Hulk. A lot of Teen Titans. A lot of Warlord. A lot of Moon Knight. A lot of Spider-Woman. A lot of Star Wars. This guy had his not a lot of Thor at all. He had his titles and he just grabbed his titles. More She-Hulk. Not a tremendous amount of ROM either. But he had his stuff, and he bought it, 
you know, month in and month out. He definitely had his favorites. And his his favorite out of everything is actually Shang-Chi. I wish he bought more of that Marvel premiere, but he didn't. You know, it, by now you kind of see a lot of the same titles are popping up. And again, that's another reason why it wasn't even worth recording more than this. Just a lot of the same stuff coming up one after another after another. See you in more Star Wars. So that's it. We're almost done with this box. And uh, we're going to be back home to see how it went. All right, guys. So we took these home. This was a big one. I'm into this collection for $1,600. I'm going to go over 30 books with you. Now, earlier in the video, I said you're going to want to leave a comment. Here's why. This is going to be the most interactive video I've probably ever done. I'm going to show you 30 books. In the comments below, I want you to list five books out of these 30 that you suggest I send to CGC. I'm going to send half. I'm going to send 15 of these 30 off to CGC. We're gonna do a calculation on these 15. We're gonna see if we can get our money back just with the 15 books that are going out based on GPA. Other than these 30 keys, there's also a bunch of other stuff over there. Most importantly, five short boxes of bronze fillers and minor keys. That's a big deal, guys, five short boxes. So this collection is gonna work out really well. I want you guys to tell me which ones of these are going to CGC. I can't wait. I'm gonna do about a week's worth, let the video roll, and uh, about seven days after, I'm gonna pick the 15, get them off to CGC, and then I'll make sure to uh, talk about this video in the CGC unboxing because those 15 will be together. So let's get into it. I'm gonna blow through these really, really quick, okay? Five at a time. First, we're gonna start with the only five DC books here. Swamp Thing number one. Joker, number one. Black Lightning, number one. We can go over We can go over the keys and everything. Just assume these are all keys and minor keys. Tales of Teen Titans, 44. And Teen Titans 2, Deathstroke. All right? These are the only five DC books that are going to be uh, kind of bigger keys that I want you guys to vote on. Again, you want to put five of the following in the comments below, top 15 votes are going to CGC. You're spending my money, guys, but we're going to see. We're going to tally everything up. All right, next up, we have Marvel Premiere, number two. We're going Cosmic here. Cosmic. The next four are all Star Wars. All right, Star Wars number one. Star Wars number two. Star Wars 42. Star Wars 68, keys, minor keys, whatnot, whole bunch of Star Wars stuff. Uh, this is a cool book. First time uh, Adam Warlock is referred to as Adam. That's kind of cool. So there you go. Five books right here. Get them in. Yeah, I mean, you might want a pencil and paper to leave comments. Pick the five. Pick the five. They'll be cleaned and pressed too. So 15 of these books. Next up. All right. Some number ones here. Marvel feature number one. Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends number one. Black Panther number one. Spider-Woman number one and probably the best one in this batch. Nova number one. Whole bunch of number ones here. Looking good, looking good. Hope you're writing everything down. Let's go on to a next, our next batch of five. The next batch of five, kind of a little bit of an MCU batch, a little bit. Here we go, first up, what if number 10? Next up, Eternals one, Eternals two, Eternals three. I know what you're thinking, but no, it's Eternals five. Now, heads up, spoiler alert, he did have the full Eternals run in there, okay? I just picked these out, so here we go, little MCU stuff, 10 left, 10 left, going through, going through, all right, two, three, four, five, another number one, Miss Marvel number one. 
Miss Marvel 16, Miss Marvel 18, Miss Marvel, oh, Miss Marvel, silly, uh, Marvel Spotlight 32, nice book, and then another Marvel Spotlight 28, and guys, I apologize if I'm not going over the key, like specific keys, I don't want this video to go on forever, and a lot of this stuff we've talked about in previous videos, so here's this batch of five, and we have one more batch Kind of, uh, they don't really, they don't really match at all. They don't match at all. But we're gonna get these last five up. Last five. Marvel Premiere forty-eight. Howard the Duck thirteen. Avengers Annual ten. Nice book. Marvel uh, Special Marvel Edition sixteen. And we'll go one better, Marvel Special Edition 15, first Shang-Chi, some more MCU stuff. Actually, I almost argue four of these five are MCU books, but uh, that's it. That's all of them. Please, guys, again, in the comments below, pick five books that for me to send to CGC. I'm going to take the top 15 based on your vote. So half of what we just went over, they're going to CGC. I'm into the collection for $1,600. we are going to do the GPAs on those 15 books, see if we can hit it, as well as the cost of CGC. All right? Share the video. Hit that thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, keep it comics.